Okay, sorry. Welcome YouTube. So this video is our response to NOB SS Survival's video, uh, particularly the one where he's hacking away at a piece of Australian hardwood with the uh, big outback down under Bowie knife. Now, there we go. Sort of the thing we're talking about. Sorry, have a look. Whack, whack, whack. Whack, whack, whack. Okay. So I have a bit of a problem with the knife. What well, this guy's I have a problem with the whole thing, right? So I've just done a little video to explain my point of view, okay? But to explain my point of view, you have to look at some stuff I've got in the shed, all right? So one second. Thanks, Daddy. Hi. Oh, I'm all right. Well, there you go. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that, kids. All right. So, uh, first point, right, is that. Outback knives are made in Asia, all right? Okay, probably China. And they purport to be an Australian knife, okay? Look at their website, they've got all the imagery, kookaburras, pictures of Australian nature and all this kind of stuff. Absolutely, they totally like try and pass themselves off as Australian knives, okay? They're not made in Asia, all right? Don't have a problem with Asian knives, some great Asian knives out there. Well, crap ones, but there's some good Asian knives, okay? This is one of my knives, okay? It's a Lego, right? Made in Finland by Finnish people in a Finnish factory, okay? And it's a traditional kind of Scandinavian design, okay? It's not made in China. Then they put, they put, it, in, put it and they start saying, oh, this is a Finnish knife, but it's actually made in China, right? Okay? It's a lot of crap, okay? <laughs> Other problem. With outback knives, there's a bush knife, alright? The outback knife weighs nearly a kilogram, okay? This is a lot lighter than a kilogram, I can tell you, okay? That's a lot of weight to carry in the bush, put in your backpack or whatever, you know? One kilogram for one cutting tool, you, you know, that's an axe, <laughs> right? Not a knife, alright? Other problems, stainless steel, alright? This is carbon steel, alright? much more easier to sharpen in a, a bushcraft kind of scenario or anywhere where you know you're away from a sort of environment like this we're in the workshop okay all right other problem and uh this is but i'm not a fan of bow knives i have to admit bow knives uh it's predominantly a fighting knife okay you look at the history of the history of the bow knife that's how it started okay it's designed for combat you know and there was a bloody period in history where this knife was used originally, okay? You know, if you look at a bowie knife, they'll have a guard here. That guard's to protect your hand when you're fighting an opponent from an opponent's blade, okay? If you look at the, uh, the, the tip of the clip of the knife of a bowie, you see it's a clip point, right? Yeah, that's to, like try and stick in another human being to kill them, okay? It's a fighting knife, okay? People try and use it for bushcraft and other things, hunting and stuff like that. You know, some people like them, I don't like them, but that's what it is, right? This is a woodworking tool, all right? This is a design that's evolved over thousands and thousands of years, okay? It's a two-handled, you grip hold it like this with two fingers and you swing it, okay? And you get a lot of force. And it's sort of almost as effective as a hatchet, okay? Um, you know, it's very good. You can, you know, uh, make, uh, sorry, I'm gonna have an example here. You, here we go. I was mucking around earlier. So you can make, you know, feather sticks with it. You know, you can batten with it. You can chop vegetables with it. All right. You can you can cut up meat with it. All right. Whatever you need to do for shelter building, it's brilliant. Okay. You want to cut your things like fern or grasses. You know, gather materials to do primitive shelter building. Absolutely excellent tool. All right. That's what it's designed to do. Okay. Buy a knife. Designed to fight fight. You know, the Mexicans and the Indians and. The grizzly bear comes at you, you know what I mean? That's 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 what his history is, you know what I mean? Okay, so also the other thing, I don't really see the point, this is back to the video, where he's hacking away with a bowie knife. Uh, in Australian bushcraft, why you would have to, you know, hack wood like that, all right? You know, and in Australia, you know, you don't really get the same snow as you do in up in Finland and 
North America and the boreal forest, where you have to split into the wood to get, you know, sort of dry wood to make your fire, all right? You know, your knife is still a useful thing to have, but you don't really need that heavy, heavy, heavy woodworking tool, right? You know, the only way in Australian bushcraft that I could possibly think that you would need to sort of cut wood that way is if you're making some kind of log cabin type thing, you know, right? some really long term shelter where you're going to live there for a year or something like that. Even then, you take an axe, you know. That's a much better job, going to do a much better job than a bowie knife of cutting a log, all right? Bowie knife, not really designed for that kind of woodworking, all right? Or this, right? I'm going to cut that kind of log, you know. This, you know, it's called a saw, by the way. Uh, <laughs> much easier, all right? Okay? And, you know, it's still skilled to using a saw, it's still skilled to using an axe, you know what I mean, the traditional tools. That, in the past, when people first came to Australia, and they made their, their shelters, their cabins, that's what they used. Alright, alright. This whole thing, of the big bowie knife, alright, with the hat, with the crocodile, this is the croc hunter, right? You know, this is, this is some crazy Hollywood, <laughs> crazy Hollywood idea of what Australia is like, alright? Australia isn't like that at all. This is just Hollywood cliché, you know? Get past the cliché, you know what I mean? Just get rid of the hat, mate, with the crocodile teeth. It's, it's silly. That's not what Australia is about, right? Okay, that's not what Australia bushcraft is about. Just get a top, simple knife, go to the bush, sleep under the stars, learn all the little, you know? native plants in your area, learning things that the Aboriginal people knew for generations, you know what I mean? I don't know, I'll show you, I'll try and show you, I'll try and explain. <laughs> My kids again. Can't really see, but out there, it's a national forest, yeah? There's spotty gum and stringy box and, you know, that's where bushcraft's at, you know, I'll go out there and look at what's happening and have a top and just enjoy wilderness and stuff like that. Just lose this stupid croc hunter crap. It's shit. You know? Nobody's like that. It was never like that. You know? That's not the real Australia. Sorry, mate.